a new haircut. Like or dislike it. If you don't like it, then you need to dislike it. Or if you like it, like it. Guys, we're reading you a story. But, Teddy, please tell me what's the clue. Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig? Teddy, give me the book. Oh, oh it's The Three the Little Pigs. pigs. Straight by Rosie Butcher. I'll tell you about when my brothers and I built our very own houses and the wild adventure that took place. Everything would have gone smoothly if it wasn't for the big bad wolf. But no big bad wolf is a match for small pigs like us. <laughs> Hurry up and open the book to find out how the story ends. I'll be waiting for you. One day, it was time for the little pigs to leave home and build their own houses. The little pigs couldn't wait to build their own houses, so they set off happily on their journey. As they walked along the road, the pigs soon came across a man with a cart filled with straw. This is the best building material, said the little <laughs> See you soon, friend. <laughs> Do you think it's a good idea to build with straws? Let's see. So after a day of hard work, the first little pig had built himself a fine house made of straw. The two other little pigs looked at his house and thought that they could do better, so they continued down the road. A little further along the road, the two little pigs met a man with a car loaded with stick. This is the best building material, said the second little pig. So after a few days of hard work, the second little pig had built himself a handsome made out of sticks. The last little pig looked at his house and thought that he could do better. So he waved goodbye and continued further down the road. Not much further along the road, the third little pig met a man with a pick-up truck filled with bricks. This is exactly what I have been waiting for. This is the best building material, said the dear little pig. After weeks of hard work, the third little pig had built himself a sturdy brick house. A big bad wolf has out for a walk. What he noticed? The first little pig in his straw house. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf. Do you think the little pig will let him come in or not? Let's see. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, squeaked the first little pig. Ooh. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Is it going to blow his house down? growled the wolf. The wolf took a deep breath and blew down the house made of straw. Mm -hmm. The first little pig ran as quickly as he could to the house made of sticks. Whoa. Following the first little pig, the wolf arrived at the house made of sticks. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in called the wolf. Not by the hill of my chin chin chin, squeaked the little pigs. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down, growled the wolf. The wolf took a deep breath and blew down the house made of sticks. 
The two little pigs ran as quickly as they could to the brick house. Nanny, nanny! Help! 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 Little pigs, little pigs! Let me come in! Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down! Don't be so sure, little pigs. I'll be back. <laughs> but the wolf wouldn't give up that easily. He climbed up to the top of the house and started to squeeze down the chimney. Suddenly, the third little pig had an idea. Quickly, the three little pigs set a big pot of boiling water over the fire, just as the wolf squeezed down the chimney. The wolf fell straight into the pot of boiling water, and that was the end of him. The third little pig had outsmarted the big bad wolf and built the strongest house. He was very clever little pig indeed. If you like this story, like and subscribe if you like it. Good night. I hope you enjoy. See you soon. Bye. Bye.